In this video, we are going to have a look with the set operators. Set operators are basically something like a set theory if you have the mathematical knowledge. So you can relate the set operators with that set theory where we will be combining the results from the multiple tables. That means if I have a table called employees and another table called X employees and I want to get the details of all the employees who are working or who has worked with my organizations so I can use these set operators as here it is used to combine the result from multiple tables. So you can write a select statement for table 1 and a select statement for table 2, table 3 and so on. And after that you can merge them all, you can combine the result by using the set operators. When you are writing the select statement for each table, make sure the column name and column numbers that you have chosen are exactly same. In case if you want to sort the data, you will have to use the order by only in the last query of the series in which you are applying the set operators. So let's have a look on all the set operators that we have like union, union all, intersect and accept. So rather than discussing here, let's go practically and discuss about all these operators. So now before getting started with set operators, let's find a couple of tables which I'm going to use here. Like the first one is the TBL X employees means those employees who has left my organization. So what I have done, I have created a four fields out right there like EMP ID, first name, last name and departments. And as soon as someone will leave my company, I will remove it from this table and will be added into this X employees tables. Now to do that, uh, what I can do like I can create some triggers, but we will discuss about all those things in our later videos. But here you can just simply understand that these are the employees who are no longer working with us and these are the current employees. And now I'm going to do some set operations in the table. What will I do is I will simply select like select asterisk or I should give the name of the columns like EMP ID like this and I'll just make a copy paste again here. All right, uh, let me copy it. Yep. And here I'll do the same searching as the column names are very same. So I will do the searching from this employees. So you see in both the outputs, the column names are same and the number of columns are as well same. So what I can do, I can pass the various operations here for the set operators. For example, if I want to pass the union. So what will I do? I will just write union between these two queries and will execute this. And now you can see that separator went off and here you can see the there is a combined output from the first three records. You can see it is from the X employees while these are from the employees table. This is a union. Here we have a common employee called Angelina which first of all left my company then again joined back. So you will find the record couple of times. Why I'm seeing it couple of times because the employee ID in both the cases are different. But if I will remove this employee ID from both the queries, make sure that while working with these set operators, the name and the number of columns must be same in both the queries and in all the queries. Now here you can see like in the output you will only get the Angelina once okay because the first name last name and department all the three values are same in both the tables because she left with the department and she joined back in the same department when she joined again alright so here the first name the last name and the department everything is going to be same and here again you can see a couple of Raj it, they are from the same table. So obviously if everything will be same, they will not be taken off. Why? Because in union only the duplicate record from the d different table will be removed. But if I will add union all, what will happen? Both the Angelina records will be there. Like here, Angelina. And again here you can find Angelina Duggan. Alright. So 
there are two records from Angelina when I'm using union all. That simply means union is going to remove the duplicate record but union all will also take the duplicate records altogether. If you want to sort the data, you can definitely sort by using order by at last of the query. I say order by one means first name. So you can see the, both the Angelinas all together here. Now, I will use this next operator here called the intersect. In intersect, as we know, only the common records will be shown. So in both the tables, only one record is common, that is the Angelina. And finally, we have one more operator here called accept. So it will only see the data from this particular table, removing the common elements. Like here, in this particular table, we have three records in which Angelina is common. If we will use accept, so in the output, you will see the two records, but the third one, this, which is Angelina, will not be shown. This is how the accept operator works. And similarly, you can implement the set operators like union, union, all, intersect, and accept in your SQL.